Holy It's a huge King Brown, and it's angry as well. He's striking at everything. Jesse is a trained snake handler, so don't try this at home. Holy. This is a monster. Holy. Welcome to All for Adventure. After a long drive, the crew are looking for a spot to have a swim. I'm guessing this isn't the spot. Six years since we were last here. But this is the, uh, the old crosser, mate. We're going to cross the Daly River. And as we cross here, we're going to head into, uh, uh, basically, the traditional lands of uh, Wadair, or as a lot of people know it as Port Keats. Yeah, it's been a while, mate, but uh, it'll be all good. It was a fabulous country back then, and uh, I'll tell you now, it's probably, uh, we're going to find some more of that fabulous country. The team have left the Wessel Islands and are crossing the Territory to meet Ranger Ian on the edge of the Moyle floodplains. Let's get it all happening. Yo! Been yo, four or five years, Yeah, you remember Simon? Yeah. Simon? Yeah. Good, good. good, good. It's Jesse. Go, Jesse. Jesse? Yeah, so I told Jace about the old bomber that was out in the floodplain just out off the Moyle River, and he was keen. Plane wreck out in the swamp somewhere, apparently. Yeah, there's a few of them. There's one out here and one up the back there. Have you been to the one in the swamp? No. You I haven't, haven't seen there? it yet, no. Is she going to be tough to get in there? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Have they had a lot of water on the plane? Above there the has place? been a bit, yeah. and there's still a bit of runoff there. Oh, I'm keen. You boys keen? Definitely yeah. keen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guarantee there'll be some fish in them, too. 90 centimetre barra about six weeks ago. Really? Should have been here Should yesterday. Should have been here six yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> well, boys, let's go, eh? Well, you. You've got the man that knows where he's going. Apparently. Apparently so. <laughs> old tracker in. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the way. We'll be right. Let's see what we can find. So I said to Jace, I said, well, what if we try the moil first? Uh, it might be a little bit shorter or a little bit easier trip. Well, we'll see how we go out here, but um, you've heard all the stories, haven't you? The old fella that told me a story said that when his father was young, um, he was asked, what was the first white fella thing you'd ever seen? And this old fella said, first white fella thing I've ever seen, and I will never, ever forget it, is a, a bomber, and a wartime bomber on fire while my sister and I were playing on the beach in the sand, we've looked up and there's our mother running down the beach screaming at us. Yeah. And we've looked up and seen this bomber on fire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and it flew straight over the top of them. Yeah. And that's the first glimpse of Whitefella. And white that was fella. the first glimpse of Whitefella. Wow. Sounds like a good story, so hopefully we can find this plane, mate. I will find it. We can always find it. Goes out up here, eh? Getting boggy. That's that powdery stuff. I need to get up on the here, I think. Uh, about getting boggy, I'm boggied. Yeah, I'm bogged. Well, our first run along the coast doesn't start real well. Yeah, don't follow us, Jesse. Get up onto the high side, mate. Get off the beach if you can. You know. <laughs> Mate, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm proper bogged, buddy. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Yeah, he's stuck. <laughs> so, I think we'll get you up onto some tracks, mate. Yep. You now come around, you can winch off of me or something. All right. You want these tracks? Yep, grab them, mate. All righty. Whack her in there, mate. And shove it hard up under that wheel. That's it. So she's pretty much almost rolling onto it. All right, mate. It's all yours. Go, boy, go! He's going to do it. Woo! He's up. What's your plan here, old turtle man? Yeah, I'll just get the front winch on it. All right, sliver in there. Yeah. 
All right, let's see if we can get this truck out. <laughs> He's rolling till he's stuck. I can't reverse, but I'm just getting bogged too. And it just eats it up. like a minefield of softness. I reckon we should pull up and walk very shortly. Just out across there. You reckon, I reckon that's it there? I reckon that's there's two lumps there. What's going on, boys? Oh, Ian was saying he knows of another wreck just out here, so he's been to oh, this okay. wreck. Cool. Oh, well, we better get out there before this uh, tide rocks in. We might pick up a mud crab too. Yeah, mud crabs. The first plane we are heading for is an RAAF Hudson. It was hit on a bombing raid of a Japanese airfield in Koh Phang on the 15th of June, 1942. Oh, you need shorts on, dude. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing. Oh. <laughs> no, you're kidding, aren't you? Look at the tide. The tide's racing you're in already. Dreaming. You're dreaming, dude. That tide's coming in, eh? Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to need a set of max tracks to get the hell out of here. We've lost this tide, that's for sure. The crew made it back to the Australian coastline on one engine and were forced to land here. The flight crew were rescued by the Port Keats Aboriginal Mission. Where's this bring you out, this track? Where that big clump of trees are right in front of us, the distance one, distant yeah. one. That's right on the edge of the line. Some of the locals are down fishing. The word is around, we are trying to reach the Moyle floodplain B-25 bomber, a site rarely visited, usually only in the driest of years. And they do like our boat loader. So we started off at the mouth of the Moyle and worked our way up. Um, and Jace couldn't like believe how many crocs there were, and big crocs too. Four metre plus. These are big crocs and are not phased by humans at all. You'll notice their threat posture as they approach the boat. This is about 11, 12 footer, so it's a male, too big to be a girl, yeah. and he's not shy. You know what's interesting about this river? Mm. There's just so many big boys sitting right next to each other. They're just so at home in the water, aren't they? It's just like effortless. That's awesome. That was proper idea. Is that a little one? Right there. How speggy is this? So good. Look at all the different bird life. Twitch is paradise out here, buddy. Once we arrive at the floodplain, the water is rapidly draining from the runoff. So Ian was saying over in the distance there, there's an outstation. Now, we were hoping that the floodplain was going to be drained off enough that we could sort of walk over in that direction and have a look. And just a couple of hundred yards that way, you can see that there's still way too much water on these floodplains. So I think this option's out. There's no way we're gonna trudge across this, this floodplain and try and find it in this mess. Hey, uh, we better get out of here, eh? Because that tide's just dropping fast. Yep. We get stuck here, we'll be stuck here for another six hours. Yeah, it's not the crocodiles I'm worried about, it's the mosquitoes. Oh, hell yeah. So it's too much water for on foot and not enough to push on in the boats. So we return. This is the second attempt to try and get to this plane wreck. This time we've driven all the way around the whole big fun plane and now we're going to try and come in from this side. So here we go. Here, reckon we haven't got much further to go. Uh, this is uh, one of the main roads that'll get us sort of uh, bypass most of the uh, flood plane and there's bring us down onto a place called Perry Yeah, we're gonna go in there and um, have a chat to uh, the TOs. 
Uh, they're going to be up there apparently. They're waiting for us to rock up. There's a good chance we should be able to get some more information about where this, uh, where this plane wreck's going to be. G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the Boss Shadow 180. Now it's a 180 degree awning and it's made by Camp Boss 4x4. Perfect for a setup like this on the side of a wagon. What I'll do is I'll show you how easy it is to set up by yourself. All right, we whack this on like this. This one comes around, okay. Now it's got these little ratchies, okay. It makes it easier to set up. Hook it on the little hook here, like that. Adjust it around and pull on the ratchy. So that's set up there like that. Then we go around, we get the, the back bit, slide him out like that and pull it tight. There we go. So 280 GSM waterproof and up to 50 UV protection. It's got a light, a full size LED light on both arms and every one of the frames is a full A-frame type setup. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Boss Shadow 180. A great 180 degree of coverage. Keep the sun off you, keep the rain off you. Awesome bit of kit. If you get a chance, check it out. Anyway, back to the adventure. Now this looks like it, mate. This is it. Oh, definitely it. Outside, there's the, there's the boys there. There's they, there they are. There's Wait, Jules there. Hello. You must be Jules. I'm Jace. Hello, Jason. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Simon. Of course, you know Ian. Hey, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello. Jesse. That's Jesse. When we met the TOs, um, they were ex as excited as Simon and Jace. They were, they, were, they were loving it. I couldn't believe what you know Ian was saying to me. Look, they really want to come. They really want to do it. So apparently, you guys are in the know. You've been to the plane. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Excellent. We, 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 we all got the story, and so, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we're really keen to hear the story about the plane. So, yeah. All right. So, shall we? Whereabouts would you like us to camp? We'll, we'll camp up, and then um... whatever suits you, fellas. Anyway, yeah. so you fellas, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you yeah. again. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. letting us come to your land. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah. We set up camp on the homelands outstation. This will be base camp for the next attempt to reach this bomber. We get a call from Jules. A snake has taken up residence in the water pump station and it has just put the wind up in. It just went past and across my boot. Yeah? Yeah, a big, a big fella. Wow. Big one. Yeah. That's right there. Slowly and gently. Jesse is going to try and relocate him away from the water pump. We haven't seen him yet, but Jules says he is big. He's under the old fridge. Do we keep going over? Yeah. Holy Holy f***! Hold it, hold it, I got him. I got him. Holy It's a huge King Brown, and it's angry as well. He's striking at everything. Jesse is a trained snake handler, so don't try this at home. Holy! This is a monster. Holy! Amazingly, it is living next door to cane toads, which usually kills the snake if they eat it. That is a great sign for this snake species. Get the stick, Jesse. No, that's all right. Control him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. You got him? I got him. Holy. Is he um, going to calm down? Give him a minute. That thing's a monster. Holy crap. It's the biggest king brown I've ever seen. Is it? Yeah, it's a monster. That thing's an animal. I've seen some big ones in captivity. Yeah. But for a wall one, Holy. this guy is an absolute monster. My adrenaline pumping. Yeah, I bet it is, mate. It's pumping <laughs> just standing here watching you. Good find, Jules. Yeah. You made my day. Weak. Jesse calms him down and he realises we are not a threat. And you've got to buy the tail. It's, you know, really, that's not a great thing to be doing. Well, when we caught him, he was pretty fired up. <laughs> but um, now he's, he's calmed down. We're not hurting him. And um, yeah, now's an opportunity for Jace to yeah, have, um, a, have an experience like this. He was out, he was underneath that fridge over there, Simon. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, Jesse tailed him. And um, yeah, 
<laughs> Bugger, I missed it. I wanted to see Jesse Taylor, big snake. Like oh, that. mate. Well, what happened? He was a machine. Was he really? Oh, yeah. What happened, Jules, here is that he was walking around here and it actually went over his foot. Went over his boot. <laughs> you still shaking over so, there, buddy? <laughs> we can. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think we can have uh, an animal like this in our camp. That's a big snake, so mate. So we, you know, we'll, we won't. Um, Kill him or nothing like that, we'll just we'll just shift him out of our Shifting, camp. Shifting, yeah. You don't want to be hit by this thing. King Browns have got the biggest venom yield out of any other snakes so in the world. He's gonna pump the most in. He's gonna pump a lot in. Nah. nah yeah. And looking at his head, you can actually see his venom glands oh, bulging. And he's feeling my hand too. You can feel it. See yeah. this? He's Look at him. irritated. He's irritated, all right. I'm gonna hand you the irritated snake. Here, mate. Good work, mate. Yeah, on me up. See him deaf rolling there? Yep. Yeah. At the moment, he's just a little bit uneasy. He's a bit agitated for good reason too. I got him by the tail. So he just wants to get away. So we'll do our we'll do our good deed for the day and move him away. Move him away. I'd rather mess with a crocodile than that. Oh, he's heavy. Keep your concentration there, buddy. You're on your own, mate. Look at him go. Look at oh. that monster. That's a proper serpent right there. That's a big one. Watch out, Jules. He's coming for you. Good job, mate. I'm impressed. Like, hey. seriously, I'm impressed. Yeah, buddy. I'm really impressed. <laughs> I'm really sweating. Yeah, I'm yeah. sweating. Oh. Adrenaline's pumping. One thing's oh. handling them in captivity, but out yeah. here, oh, the... the stakes are high, you know, you, if you get bitten, it's, it's... That's a wild snake <laughs> right there, mate. That was impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Cup of tea time, mate. Cup of tea. Introducing the new and improved home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of yeah. aerial driving, Woo. fishing, Woo. touring, wood builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All For Adventure, Unleashed, and more original series from Jason the team. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. You can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Now with no lock-in contract. That's why Unleashed TV is the home of Australian adventure.